guys, it's Alexis. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm back with another quick video for you guys. And today I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my makeup bag and what I usually take with me to school and pretty much anywhere I go. It's mainly to school because I usually don't go anywhere. But if I'm to go out or if I'm to go over to a grandparent's house or an uncle's, or cousins or even a friend's, this is just pretty much essentially everything I have with me in the bag. So yeah. So this is just my makeup bag and it's Betsy Johnson obviously because I love Betsy Johnson and if you're watching this, which you're probably not, I love you and I love your line so keep up with what you're doing. But this is what it looks like and it's really cute and it looks, it's really big and it has like this little cute handle and then just like the metal thing right here and it has the gold zipper. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. And the inside, it's like floral and it's like silk. So like even if it gets dirty, in there, you can't tell because it's like that material. That's just what it looks like. So the very first thing I have in here is my travel foundation. And I usually use this for tight trips through or do it throughout the day or in the morning if I'm just trying to go for more of a natural and quick, fast look. And it's my fit, it's the Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. And I am obsessed with this foundation. I'm actually wearing it now. And it makes my skin look really soft, and I like how it mattes out, and I think it's really nice. And it's in the shade 230, so I just have that foundation in here. And it's like almost out, I think. But yeah. The next thing I have in here is a mascara. And it's also just a travel mascara because I have my other makeup I use at home. This is just all for travel and touch-ups, and if I have to fix it conveniently later in the day, or if I end up spending the night somewhere and I need to use it. So this is just my Avon Super Extend in Infinitized something like that mascara. And it's just this orange tube. And I really like it. I think it makes my eyelashes look really pretty. And literally all I need is one layer with it and my eyelashes are good to go. And it's just that. So that's the next thing I have in there. The next thing I have is my Rivlon Colorstay eyeshadows. And um, I don't really use this to be honest. It's just when my eyes need a pop of something. I just want to add a little more to my look throughout the day. Or if I'm already wearing eyeshadow in the morning, these are the closest to the ones I would normally wear. So it's just like the touch-up ones. The next thing I have in here is a mirror. And I actually got this at the Dollar Tree, which is really cute, I think. And it's just pink diamonds, and it says love. And I thought that was really cute. And then it's just the two mirror thing. So yeah, and that's what it looks like. The next thing I have in here are two pencil sharpeners. One is the Dark Knight Rises Batman, and the next one's Hello Kitty. And I just got these out of my brother and sister's school kits they got. They're not even make ones. But I always need sharpeners for my lip liners and pencils and all that good stuff. The next thing I have in here is an eyelash curler, and this one's also Revlon. And it's kind of beat up and used up, but I like how it works. The next thing is my foundation brush, and I use this every morning for my foundation. I just always have it in there just in case. If, like, I don't know, water falls in me and I happen not to have setting spray on that day. So I just use this for my foundation. And it's from H&M and I love this. It was so soft when I first got it, but, like, you know, after you use it, after a while it gets hard. So that's what it looks like. The next thing I have in here is an old um, mascara brush. And here's a little life hack in here for you guys. If you, when you are done with your mascara, don't throw the brush away. Just take it out and use makeup remover and soap and water and just clean it all up. And it's a perfect eyebrow brush and I just literally comb my eyebrows out all day long because, yeah, it makes them look fleek. So I really like them. And if you didn't notice, I got my eyebrows done and I don't know if I'm feeling them. Like, I like how she shaped them. I got them done at Ulta Wax and it was the first time. And I was so scared to get them waxed because, like, I thought she didn't mess them up and make them go thin. But, like, they did get thinner, but not, like, thin where they're ugly to me. But, yeah. The next thing I have in here is just a lip balm because my lips get dry throughout the day. And the one I have now is just the this Eos. And it's almost completely out, which is really sad. But I should be going to get a new one soon. And it's just, I just always have a lip balm. I just happen to have the Eos right now. Next thing I have is just this powder brush. And sometimes I carry powder with me, not all the time. I've kind of been drifting out of powder. More when my face is clear, I only use powder if I need more coverage that day. But I just have an e.l.f. brush for powder. The next thing I have in here is this handy little tool. And I messed up what I was going to say. But at the end, it's an eyelash comb, and there's a big comb and a small comb. And then there's like this kind of blocker cage thing, which lots of girls don't know what it is, which is surprising. But you hold it under your eye like this when you're doing your bottom mascara, so it doesn't get under your eye. And then when you do the top, you hold it like that, which is really cool, and I think it's really nice. 
So I just hold that with me if I need to jump mascara. The next thing I have in here is a brush, of course, because my hair always needs to be brushed out throughout the day. Especially with having such thick hair, it just needs to be brushed out constantly. So it's just this cute little red brush. And it actually used to be High School Musical, but the mirror broke, and yeah, I still have it. The next thing I have in here is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And this is just a second one. It's literally, there's only like a little bit left in here. But after I'm finished with my, like after I go through a cycle of my concealer, I like to like leave a little bit in there and put it in my travel bag and open up anyone or get anyone. And I just leave it in there just in case if I'm gone I need extra coverage that day. So I have my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. The next thing I have is a Clinique Acne Solution Cleaning Concealer. And this one has way more in it. I hardly ever use this, but it's if I never have any MAC concealer in there, but this is just what it looks like. The next thing I have in there is obviously a foundation brush, and I don't use this for my foundations, I just use it for quick touch-ups, like if like it's getting blotchy or somewhere, but I mainly use it to line my lips, because like when you wear lip liner and lipstick, like as I am today, I just did that, and it really makes a huge difference. I recently started doing that. Let me just tell you, it makes a huge difference, it makes your lips look much more plumper and nicer, and it just gives the color a vibrant, more nicer look. So that's what I use, and this is from Clinique also. The next thing I have in here is um, this Invisible CoverGirl Concealer, and it's in the color Fair, and I actually use this to highlight sometimes, if I want to highlight under my eyes and just my nose, like highlighting and contouring, but obviously it's not the extreme one, but I just like to highlight my eyes sometimes, and it fits with me. The next thing I have in here is nail glue, and that is completely random. As you guys know, I love having my nails done. They're recently taken off right now because I just, I don't know, I felt like I wanted to have my real nails back for a few while, but yeah, I have nail glue in here, and that's probably going to go to the trash soon. The next thing I have in here is a lipstick. I always have a lipstick and a lip liner because I always need to have color on my lips, else I feel knew it on my lips, but today I just happen to be wearing the NYX Burgundy Lip Liner, which is a totally fall favorite and totally obsessed with right now. I'm really digging it, so yeah. And then the color of lipstick I'm wearing is the NYX Matte Lipstick in MLSO9. Let's see if I can find the color. Oh, it's in the color Natural, which I think is really cute, and it goes perfect with the burgundy, and I really like these two paired together, but that's the color I've been wearing all this week recently because I've been obsessed. And the last thing, I, or the two last things, is my eyebrow pencil. This is the eyebrow pencil I use, if any of you guys wonder. This is what I use, and it's in the color Mink. And I just use my angled eye brush, my angled eye brush, and I shape my eyebrows out with this. And that's basically what I do to give it more of a shape, even though they're more defined now. And the last thing I have is tweezers, because that's a must. I always have to have tweezers, but I just have tweezers in here. So that is basically everything that was in my makeup bag. I felt like that. There was much more than I thought there was in there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to comment down below what you guys would like to see next. Because I definitely need more suggestions. And I'm definitely trying to come back at you guys with more videos. So be sure to leave feedback down below. Bye guys. Thank you for watching.